that uh, UEFA are always keen to give out the message that football is inclusive. It's for everybody and anybody anywhere can participate and watch with freedom. Information of the officials. Mihaila Tepusha and Roxana Ivanov helping Juliana Dimitrescu. Well, like the home side, City have also made four changes, including in goal, where Oliver Watmuff is back between the sticks. Uh, the other four who come in, Stephen Umfuni, Ryan McAdoo and Charlie Gray. The four who miss out, Wint Henderson Hall, Abawado and Alpha Reprecht, the latter of which is on... Uh, sorry, is suspended. I beg his pardon, he's injured at the moment. Uh, Albawado would be suspended if he was to pick up a second yellow card. Alpha Reprecht probably out for another 10 days or so. See Nico O'Reilly and his opposite number, Maximilian Marco, going through the formalities. Kickoff scheduled for 2 p.m. local time, one o'clock in the UK. There is one very big difference between City's under-19s and the home side, and that is that City don't actually have an under-19 team as such. They don't play in an under-19 league, so the Blues are sort of a hybrid mixture of the under-21s and the under-18s, whereas Slovan Bratislava do have a dedicated under-19 team who play in an under-19 league in Slovakia. So a meeting of two sides who lost their opening games, albeit in very different circumstances. The Blues took the lead against Inter Milan, but were blown away by three goals in nine minutes from the visitors. Came back to 3-2, nearly grabbed an equaliser, and then were really sucker-punched with Inter Milan's only attempt on target of the second half to make it 4-2 in the end. By contrast, Slovan Bratislava were well and truly outclassed by Celtic, something that I'm sure will have concerned Michal Sushomel. <laughs> mentioned that uh, there are six matches that are played in the UEFA Youth League league phase. I mentioned City's opponents, Slovan Bratislava's next match is against one of the City Football Group teams, Girona, that is away, then Dinamo Zagreb, and uh, they then face Milan and Atletico Madrid. We are expecting City to be the dominating force in terms of possession. It is the Blues' way to do so. They dominated possession, certainly in the second half against Inter. They are very much a possession-based team. The only phase of this game will be just getting a feel of their opponents, getting an idea of their processes where their strengths and perhaps more importantly their weaknesses may lie. The 16-year-old Oliver Watmuff plays it out to Jemai simpson Pose. Four 16-year-olds in the starting 11, Regan Heskey, 
Ryan McAdoo, Caden Braithwaite, Oliver Watmuff, sorry, five, and Stephen Umfuni as well. So a very youthful City lineup. The oldest player, players are Jacob Wright and Nico O'Reilly at 19. But, uh, five of the 11, just 16 years old. Here is one of those. Regan Heskey just ran out of pitch in the end. Younger brother of uh, Jaden Heskey. Jaden Heskey. Plenty of UEFA Youth League experience in days gone by, but uh, not available to Ben Wilkinson this season. Slava going long. Simpson Pose getting the header out of harm's way. It will be a city throw. Jacob Wright, who plays at the base of the midfield. Simpson Pose on to Mikhail Samuel. Now Wright, clipping it into the path of Makedu, who came on as a substitute against Inter a couple of weeks ago for his first taste of UEFA Youth League action. Here's O'Reilly, who of course played for the first team against Watford this time last week. Just linking the play quite well there in central midfield. Putting it back to Mfuni. Versatile defender, can play left back as well as left side centre half. Here's Jemai simpson Pose. Clip ball out to Heskey was a very nice one. Heskey tried to find O'Reilly but couldn't quite. City though winning the ball back very quickly. And there's another player who played against Watford last week, Caden Braithwaite, the third youngest ever City player in that game against Watford. Here's O'Reilly. Worked it well. It might be a first attempt from Braithwaite. Took a deflection on the way through, which made it a Relatively comfortable gather for Balog, but uh, not a bad attempt from Braithwaite. Helped into his path by Charlie Gray. Defender stuck out a foot and took some of the pace off the ball. Here goes Mikado. And now O'Reilly. Samuel's little dink ball was well intended. Warhurst was homing in on it. And the Blues win the game's first corner. Started this game really well, City. Good clearing header by Tomanek. Jacob Wright goes over for the corner. Skamea whipped in in swinger, no short one this time. Simpson Pose was climbing, and the referee says that that's a foul by the city centre half. Just leaning on the back of his man. Jamai Simpson Pose, one of several of this squad who went with the first team on the USA tour in the summer. And also one of the members of the FAU Cup winning side who lifted that illustrious trophy at the Etihad Stadium in May against Leeds. Here's Umfuni who uh, scored in the... Uh, Youth Cup final. Here's O'Reilly. It's a good run from him. 
Cross is a good one as well, just behind Warhurst, almost reaches Gray. Jacob Wright shot deflects, another City corner. And you're just getting the sense right now that the Blues have a measure of control here. Two corners in quick succession. And the first City corner went to the back post for simpson Pose to attack. What are they going to do this time? O'Reilly tried to get the glance on. One back by simpson Pose. Samuel's the furthest back for the Blues. He is right. Gray loses out in the duel. And City have a little bit of backpedalling to do. So the challenge from Braithwaite gives Slovan Bratislava the throw. Al Suchamel been in charge since the summer of the under 19s. Throw. Go, 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 go. And the first attack of the game, really. Here's Mateusz. It's picked off well by Samuel, though. Could hear the increase in volume from the locals. They've gone quiet again as Heskey comes forward, and he's done well to ride the first challenge. And he's done well to ride the second, and it's almost in towards McAdoo. Couldn't quite control it. O'Reilly will keep it in city possession. He's done well, O'Reilly. Brings in right. Bending ball towards Warhurst is cleared. Heskey will keep it alive. Support from Braithwaite. Now Umfuni. And now right. Simpson Pose. It's good football this. Makedu. Warhurst again so close to getting the touch. And Slovan Bratislava happy just to clear it anywhere. Out comes Oliver Watmuth. Ben Wilkinson will certainly feel that his team are in control here. Nil-nil, but all the attacking play is coming from City. Here's right, and now Heskey. Simpson Pose. Umfuni. Right. Into the gap for Heskey. The ball will actually sit up because it's quite a long grass pitch, this one. You'd expect it to be. Uh, very tightly cropped if it was at the Joy Stadium, but here in Bratislava, the grass is quite long and is holding up. Like I think was up for offside there. But, uh, referee didn't see the flag and it's a slow van throw. City winning it back and then losing it again. Alco. And lost the ball, and City have it back with Braithwaite, and now Mfuni, and now Wright. Simpson Plaza, Mfuni, Braithwaite, Mfuni once more, Samuel, Makedu. Simpson Plaza. Makedu. It's good play from Makedu. It's excellent from Makedu. Unlucky. That driving run, which has become a feature of his play for the Blues, came on against Inter Milan late on, a couple of weeks back in the UEFA Youth League, and was really positive. He took players on then. He's doing it again now. 
couldn't quite wrap his left foot around it sufficiently to bend it in the far corner, but real promise for Makedu. Here's Warhurst. Nicely done by Heskey. Here's Umfuni. Tries to win a couple of battles. Won the first, not the second. And in the end, Braithwaite guides it back to Watmuff, who has really been on a watching brief in the opening 13 minutes here. Jamai Simpson Pose. Stephen Umfuni. Caden Braithwaite. Has to go back to Umfuni. And Samuel. Simpson Pose. Umfuni. Braithwaite. Heskey. Gray. Center of the triangle of passes. Now Simpson Pose. Caden Braithwaite. Now Gray trying to help it on to Warhurst. Right flick header back to Simpson Pose. Makedo do here. It's a dangerous ball into Warhurst. Just drifts out for a goal kick, but he's had three or four nearly moments. Matty Warhurst, again, just so close to getting what could have been a killer touch. Makedo's attempt to find him was imaginative. side yet to have a genuine spell of controlled possession and it's not going to last here either here's Simpson Pose now Lakal Samuel gives it back to his centre half and then gets it a second time Makedu again lovely play Terrific from Makedu. Looks a player, doesn't it? Can go both ways, the drop of the shoulder. Defender not sure, is he going inside, is he going outside? That's always the danger for a defender when a winger can go both ways. And Makedu has that ability. The City have their third corner, as you can see. The Blues in control of this game. Can they nudge in front? First corner that's come from this side, so it'll be an outswinger for the first time. O'Reilly O'Reilly couldn't quite get to it. Slovan Bratislava can try and bring it away. Samuel will pick it up for the Blues and guide it back to Watmuff, and City will be back in possession again and in control. Simpson Pose brings in Makedu. Right. Funi. Good play. Braithwaite showing good balance. Right spreads it to Heskey who couldn't quite keep it in play. Well, as much as I'm sure he'll be very pleased with the way his side have started, he'll probably have a little tinge of disappointment that they've not opened the scoring. One thing you have to do, particularly in European fixtures, is to put your possession and control of the match into an opening goal. 
City have won the ball back again. Here's Makedu. Manages to ride that challenge, plays it back to right. Slavan Bratislava back into their shape again. And Funi, right. Makedu. That goes out of play for a goal kick, but well intended again from the 16 year old. international break looming next week so there isn't another UEFA Youth League fixture for three weeks fortnight break of course for players to go off and represent their countries and then football domestically resumes again and the Blues senior team and UEFA Youth League team will then face Sparta Prague in the Champions League home. Here's Makedu getting plenty of the ball in the opening 18 minutes. Right. City getting plenty of the ball to be truthful. Braithwaite, simpson Pose just lost control of it, then won it back again and brings in Makedu. Lost his footing but still manages to find its way through to Gray. O'Reilly with a, I think the cross shot rather than the the driven ball. City will again pounce upon the loose ball. Braithwaite with time. And now on Funi. 19 minutes of complete domination for City. No goal to show for it yet, though. Here's Wright. Great. Wright. Simpson Pose. Umfuni. Braithwaite. Here's Simpson Pose. So many touches of the ball for Simpson Pose in the final third, never mind the defensive third. And he's one of the blue centre halves. Here he is again. Makedu. O'Reilly. Makedu. Simpson Pose. Nico O'Reilly. Trying to help it in towards Warhurst. Cleared, but only as far as Umfuni. Lovely play from Umfuni. Was a little bit of a lunge at him. So a city free kick taken quickly by Wright. Helped out wide to Makedu. Here is Makedu again. Lovely feet. Terrific balance. Just. Try to release the pass to Jacob Wright, it was intercepted. Simpson Pose keeps it once again in Blues possession. Here's Wright to start them off again. Umfuni. Oh, he's lost it. Now this could be a dangerous moment. Balko driving Slovan Bratislava forward. Listen to the locals getting behind their team. In the end, it's a very easy gather for Oliver Watmuth. Well, that's the danger when you're in complete control of the game and you get maybe just a little bit too relaxed. A stray pass and all of a sudden, the visitors were charging forward. And although it was an attempt on target and lacked power, just a little warning to the Blues that they have to turn this domination into a goal because the... Statistic at the top of your picture suggests this has been an even game. It's been nothing of the sort. <laughs> Towards Heskey. OK, 
Kedu. Simpson Plaza. Right. Kedu. Simpson Plaza and right again. On Funny. Let's find a way through. Right. Braithwaite. Heskey. Charlie Gray says that should be a corner. And the referee duly obliges. City's fourth corner of the match. That was the only bright moment, really, for the visitor uh, for the uh, home side. Fairly tame shot from distance from Holoshi. So it was easily gathered by Watmuff. So corner number four for the Blues. Just beyond the midpoint of the first half. Headed away firmly and meatily by Balog. Here's Samuel. Simpson Plaza. McKaydu. Samuel O'Reilly. Can he find a way through? He's going to try his best. Just crowded out by what is a well drilled backline. You can see how quickly they get back into shape out of possession. It really has become an attack v defence match. Slovan dropping deeper and deeper. And the hosts too have the ball. It never seems to be for very long, and there's more proof. 25th minute, though, still nil-nil, despite City's control. Here's Simpson Plaza. O'Reilly. McKaydu. Towards Warhurst. O'Reilly again. Gray. O'Reilly, Samuel won it back well, O'Reilly, Gray, it's all a bit tight in there, O'Reilly wins it back, Samuel, Simpson Plaza wanted it, goes instead to Braithwaite, and now on Funny. Esky pushed a little too wide. City so go backwards to start again, here's Wright. A little bit of space for Gray. Can he find a shot? Well, he tried to find the pass to O'Reilly. Blues, to their credit, being patient, trying to wait for the perfect moment to strike. Just struck the referee, who says you might as well play on because you've still got the ball. Here's right. Simpson Plaza. McKaydu. He's done that beautifully. On towards Samuel, Proddy towards goal. Shot by Gray was blocked, and the referee says it's a foul by Gray. And up the shot of all of that is a free kick to Slovan Bratislava. Well, there's the attempt from Samuel that was blocked, and then as Gray tried to get a shot away, he was just caught round the ankle. And then he was penalised for catching Murad who stayed down, the Slovan Bratislava number 10. Just a reminder that it is just one big table now, no groups anymore in the UEFA Youth League, just one giant table all 36 participants involved so every result has bearing on all the others 
and Wilkinson will be feeling that his team ought to be in control, sorry, be in the terms of scoreline in control as much as they are in control possession-wise. Free kick to Slovan Bratislava. Again, they wanted to go long. City win it back through Warhurst. Helped on to O'Reilly. Now Heskey. Gray. Wright. Trying to find O'Reilly, but uh, unsuccessful in that attempt. Here's Simpson Pose. Umfuni. Helped out wide. Good ball. Heskey. It's done well, Heskey. Does he have the cross? Well, he does, but it's smothered for another corner. Five now for City. Well, they may not be expressing themselves in the opponent's half, Slovan Bratislava, but defensively, they are well drilled and they are defending their box with real gusto. But that caption at the top of your picture tells you how dominant City have been. Jacob Wright with corner number five. Again, they've dealt with it well, Slovan Bratislava Gray for City. This key loses out. Away comes Mateusz. Funi. Wins it back. Here's Simpson Plaza. Here is Umfuni. Simpson Plaza. Getting close to completing 30 minutes here in Bratislava. City frustrated in their attempts to take the lead in a game in which they have completely dominated. Some sneaks out from a bank of cloud. Pleasant day in Slovakia. Simpson for Zay. McAdoo. Again, trying to make things happen, Ryan McAdoo. And Funi, Gray, offside. Just about. Just joining us, you're watching our live coverage on City Plus of the UEFA Youth League. City's under 19s away at Slovan Bratislava in their second match of the new look UEFA Youth League. City's youngsters in complete control of the game. But they just cannot find this opening goal yet. And what is a very pleasant day in Slovakia. Here's Makedu. He's looked as likely as anyone to find a way through. But just as he was maybe thinking of unleashing a shot, he's tackled and it goes out for another City ball. Jacob Wright goes over to take it. Again, it's Makedu showing his craft and guile. Corner number six. It's 
be fair to the visitors, uh, to the hosts, I should say. They've looked pretty secure on every cross ball, and again, they've dealt with that one. And now there's a counter attack on here for Slovan Bratislava, but a cross athletically and uh, great maturity was Stephen Umfuni. Simpson Pose out to O'Reilly. Slovan Bratislava may be the home team, but they're playing exclusively on the counter attack. Gray tackled. Simpson Pose. Samuel. Probably well, did too much, but he's won a free kick. This game goes on in this manner. The more that maybe Ben Wilkinson will be a little fearful that at some point Slovan Bratislava will get some more possession and maybe have one or two chances. At the moment, the Blues in complete control as they have been really since the game began. Here's Heskey, first time ball aimed towards Makedu. out for a Slovan Bratislava throw. Slovan Bratislava's first UEFA Youth League appearance. City have been regulars, of course, since it began in 2013-14. They reached the quarters in... 2014 and 2015 and their best ever performance was 2018 when they got to the semi-finals referee's concerned about Simpson Pose who's been nursing his shoulder doesn't want to get any medical treatment Jemai Simpson Pose but clearly has a Bit of a shoulder issue going on. Happy to receive the ball there, though. Here's Jacob Wright. Charlie Gray. McKaydu. Again, trying to find Warhurst. Not had a chance yet, Matty Warhurst. He's a predatory striker. Does have a one of those eyes for goal that means he seems to find the right places to be. So far, the Blues haven't picked him out. Funi's just overhit that one. Last season, in the final year of the groups, the group format, City top their group, four wins and two draws, and then they were drawn away from home against Mainz of Germany. And they were beaten 2-1 on a very hostile afternoon in Germany. Eski has changed wings. Kedu's gone to the left, he to the right. Simpson Pose is still. Not completely comfortable. That's where the arm injury first flared up. Here he is, though, on the ball again. Now right. Braithwaite, McAdoo, O'Reilly. Could this be the moment? It looks like... First time, really, that they pulled Slovan Bratislava out of position. Again, the Hode team just happy to clear anywhere. Here's some funny. Simpson Pose. 
Hiski. Right. Simpson for Zay. And Funi. Braithwaite. McAdoo. O'Reilly. And anywhere will do for the home team. Getting round the back, they're getting through the middle. What they aren't doing is finding a way past his player's defensive play. The neat, wasn't it, from the Slovan Bratislava head coach? Mikhail Sukomel. Keeper will get to that in front of Makedu. Is right. Braithwaite, right. Samuel. Simpson for Zay. Heskey. He's done well, Heskey. O'Reilly maybe to strike it. Takes his time. McAdoo. Oh. Fizzes by. I wondered if O'Reilly was going to hit it there. He instead played a little flick into the path of Makedu. Makedu, I think, was trying to find Warhurst, or maybe the far corner, but in the end, unluckily, he didn't do either. Funny. What my forget? Samuel. Sit back from Simpson to Zay. Brings in Umfuni. Drilled in towards Heskey. It will reach him. Now Gray. Just behind Heskey. A little frustration creeping in at the moment for City. They all know the first 40 minutes have completely belonged to them. But the scoreline has remained unchanged. I do say with us at half time, by the way, because we've got a very entertaining feature as the City first team squad find out their EAFC ratings. And I tell you what. It doesn't half matter to them. <laughs> We've also got highlights of the Inter Milan game. The first team game I'm talking about from two weeks ago. The free's unhappy with a piece of jewellery, I think, that Simpson Pose had on his wrist. He just pushed it into his sock rather than having it confiscated. And here's Marosh. Listen to the crowd when they come forward. And they are coming forward properly here. The cross, though, from Mateas was easily dealt with. Here's Marosh again. Marco. That's well defended by Simpson Pose. Samuel Murar tried to get beyond him. Couldn't do so. 
You could hear the noise level rising quite significantly then. A rare sortie into City's final third for Slovan Bratislava. He couldn't get a shot in. Here's Umfuni. Braithwaite. Into Makedu, should keep it in. Or oh, was he brought down? Yes, he was! City penalty. Well, Makedu has looked throughout the contest the most likely to finally break Slovan Bratislava resistance. And it offers Jacob Wright, City's expert penalty taker, the chance to at last give them the lead. A yellow card as well was brandished to Tomanek, who brought down Makedu as he came inside of him just there. Makedu's on his feet, and Jacob Wright is preparing to hopefully convert and put City deservedly in front. He scored three goals already this season from deep line midfield. Jacob Wright, a couple of those from the penalty spot. Can he get his fourth of the season? Jacob Wright to give City a deserved lead. And he just about does. The goalkeeper got a palm on it, but it was nowhere near enough. And City, who've been in complete control of this match from the first blast of the whistle, finally get some reward. McKay-Dews looks so lively throughout the contest, winning the penalty, and Jacob Wright converting it. And in the 45th minute, at last, City have the lead. Hit that with tremendous force, Jacob Wright. Just as well he did, because David Balog in the Slovan Bratislava goal guessed right and got something on it. But the smiles will tell you that City have at last hit the front. Ignore that, that's not them funny. Trust me, it's Jacob Wright. <laughs> So we're into added time at the end of a first half that has completely belonged to City. And at last, there is some kind of reflection of their dominance, but they've got some defending to do. Challenged by Umfuni, though, stops Balco in his tracks. Cleared by Gray. Picked up by Held. Just as Maros was maybe thinking about shooting, he was dispossessed. That should be Watmuffs. Oh, he was caught there. Took a bit of a whack, kind of a Watmuff. Well, the half time whistle will allow Watmuff to get some attention. It was an almighty collision with Mateas. And. Uh, the upshot of all of that is the half-time whistle sounds and will allow Oliver Watmuth to get some medical attention. The players are making their way off the field. Jacob Wright's penalty separates the two sides. One by McKaydu, who was upended. They've had so much possession of the ball, the Blues, so many attempts in and around the box. But at half-time in Bratislava, it is so far so good for the Young Blues. They lead by a goal to nil. Doesn't look as though there are any changes. I think it's the same 22 that began. So 
Manchester City in match number two of the UEFA Youth League. Lead here in Slovakia against the champions of Slovakia, Slovan Bratislava, or at least at senior level. The UEFA Youth League mirrors the fixtures of the senior competition, the UEFA Champions League. City's men, Pep Guardiola's first team, are here in Slovakia. Their kickoff is nine o'clock local time, eight o'clock UK time. Make sure you join us for match day live around about uh, 6 40 pm UK time. It is the first place to get your team news ahead of the kickoff. Myself and Nicky Weaver are on commentary duty later on tonight. So City did everything as they would wish to in the first half, except in front of goal. Just the one goal reflecting what a dominant first half it was. Very, very rare that we saw Slovakia, the Slovakians in City's half, never mind in their final third. Oliver Watmuth in the City goal, touching the ball a whole heap more with his feet than his gloves. The fact is, City should be further ahead. A second goal, and you'll feel a lot more as though this game is done. Cross comes Simpson Pose, gets there in front of Murar. Away by Watmuff and out for the Slovan Bratislava throw. Ball just hit the referee a few moments ago, but came back to Charlie Gray again, so no harm done. Tidied up by Braithwaite, cleared by Watmuff. Just a reminder, City play Sparta Prague in their next game. That's at the Joy Stadium in the UEFA Youth League. Sporting Lisbon away. Feyenoord again back at the Joy Stadium and then Juventus in Turin. They do not play on the last two weeks of the league phase for the men. The men's team, of course, play eight matches in the UEFA Champions League new look format, four at home, four away. But uh, the under-19s only play the first six of those fixtures. Remember, the Champions League goes all the way into January now. City face Paris Saint-Germain away and Club Bruges at home, but the uh, under-19s will not have those two games in January. Now that came back and slapped Gray in the face, I think round about the top of the lip, maybe the bridge of the nose. And uh, watch it come back on the rebound here, straight back into his face, and he knew nothing about it, so he couldn't protect himself. Oh, that was painful, I tell you. You can see it's drawn blood from his nose. Such was the force of the ball whacking into him. Charlie Gray, another player who won the FA Youth Cup back in May under Ben Wilkinson's control when he was in charge of the under-18s at that point. Several of the under-18s have progressed into the under-19 team to play the UEFA Youth League here. Oliver Watmuff in goal is making his UEFA Youth League debut. This is the goal that separates the teams. Jacob Wright's penalty, his fourth of the season in all competitions. His third penalty. Oh, 
Charlie Gray is another debutante in the UEFA Youth League. It's his first ever appearance in it. And he's the man on the far side who's just taken a blow to the nose from that ball on the rebound. Here's on Funny for City. The Blues down to 10 at the moment. Moff out to Umfuni. Umfuni trying to get away. Finds right. I think he was caught there. The referee weighs play on, and the ball is clipped clear by Watmuff. Samuel. Gray wants to come back on. The referee hasn't yet given him the signal. Now she has. O'Reilly trying to help it on to Makedu. Here comes Makedu again. Another mazy dribble. Try to find Warhurst. Gray, Braithwaite, right. Clipped in. Intelligently, McAdoo. Oh, it sat up to be hit. But McAdoo rather snatched at it. And his technique, which is normally spot on, just betrayed him. And here, are the young supporters in the crowd chanting Slovan, trying to encourage their team to get themselves level. There's been little evidence that they have it within them to do so so far as that caption graphically tells you seven attempts to one in favor of the visitors the blues have dominated this game seven attempts to one six corners to nil but just one goal to nil Off in the city goal has only really had touches of the ball to help the ball on to defenders in front of him to move the ball up the park. Can't remember him doing anything particularly meaningful with the gloves, he hasn't needed to. City have not won this game yet, though. Here's Braithwaite, same. Braithwaite, who made his first team debut last week against Watford. Third youngest City player in the club's history behind Glyn Pardo and Paul Simpson. Here's Charlie Gray. Corner number seven for the Blues. He's gone over and he goes short with it. Wright pops it in, way in front of Simpson Pose. There's a counter on here for Slovan Bratislava. Samuel comes across to cut out Mateas, who keeps on going, Mateas. Backwards to Maros. And City get that one away to Warhurst sensibly holds things up because none of his colleagues are anywhere near him. Should be a city throw, the ball goes the way of Slovan Bratislava. Tenth minute of the second half, just the one goal to show for City's control of the fixture. Looking to get points on the board after their opening day defeat at the hands of Inter. That's a poor clearance from the goalkeeper, and City are on to this with Warhurst, and when he gets a chance and he gets a sight of goal, he knows exactly what to do. It's his first chance of the game, Matty Warhurst, and he's swept it into the corner. And at last, City have the kind of scoreline that all their forward play has merited. Terrific finish.
Matty Warhurst turns and fires. And in the 55th minute, at last, City have daylight between themselves and Slovan Bratislava. It's the eighth goal of the season already for Matty Warhurst, his first in the UEFA Youth League. And the Blues now have control. It's one of the best habits you can have as a goal scorer to find an opponent's net with your first attempt of the game. You're always taught as a striker to just get the ball on target, make the goalkeeper do some work. Well, Matty Warhurst ensured that David Balog in the Slovan Bratislava goal wasn't going to do any work because he couldn't get anywhere near it. Lovely precise finish. And the Blues now are looking for more. 2 0, I suspect, will hand the Blues the points. But uh, in this big division of 36 teams, goal difference may yet play a part as Makedu plays across into the area, gathered in by Balog. Simpson Pazay's in the way for City. And that's a really good piece of play to just bring himself out of a tight spot and move City forward. Pass to Braithwaite's too heavy, though. I know no match is ever over at 2-0, but on the balance of what we've witnessed today, Slovan Bratislava have barely crossed the halfway line, never mind have a sustained spell of pressure. So as long as the Blues aren't sloppy or careless, just don't see the home side getting two goals today. They have got an attack brewing here, though. City have got themselves back into shape to clear. Still alive on the far side, though, with their captain, Maximilian Marco. On it goes to Mateas. Marco again. Jacob Wright with the tackle. And another mini moment of danger. Suna Bates. Plenty of options on the city bench if Ben Wilkinson wants to freshen things up. Divine Mukasa just in a bow dope. Matty Henderson Hall, Luca Fletcher, all attack minded players. And it'd be also good to see Kean Noble. Making his way back from an injury. Made his first under 18s appearance of the season as a substitute at the weekend. Another FA Youth Cup winner in the city ranks. Here's Makedu, who won the penalty from which Jacob Wright opened the scoring. Here's Makedu again. Wright gets it back a second time. O'Reilly, right, O'Reilly once more, and Funi, O'Reilly, Simpson Plaza, Gray, O'Reilly back to Umfuni. Foul on Umfuni, the referee concurs. Mura penalised. Sixtieth minute in Bratislava. City lead by one goal to nil. Uh, two goals to nil, I beg your pardon. Second goal from Matty Warhurst adding to the penalty from Jacob Wright. And here is Wright. Samuel. Heskey. Gray. 
Samuel, Simpson to Zay. Whipped in towards Warhurst. Up goes right to try and win it. City do win it back through Gray. Here's O'Reilly. Prodded to Makedu, who's onside. Ball whipped in at pace. O'Reilly towards right. Right gets to it. Slovan get it away, but not for very long. Back they come again, the Blues. Simpson Pose. On to Heskey. Should keep it in. Well, it just bounced away from him. Megan Heskey, who made his UEFA Youth League debut last November, scored a penalty as well against Young Boys. Now, unfortunately, went off with an injury. On an eventful afternoon for the Heskey family, his brother Jaden was in the same team. His dad, Emil, was watching proudly on from the stand at the Joy Stadium. I think he's made the trip here to uh, Bratislava. See him in the stand anyway. Here's Makedu. Tom by Braithwaite. Here's Umfuni. Simpson Plaze. Cleared as far as Makedu. Take players on, Makedu. City win it back with Warhurst. Braithwaite, Umfuni, and now Wright. Braithwaite, O'Reilly. City captain. Back to Braithwaite again. Simpson Plaze to Gray. Backwards, Marco for my neck. Lakovic for my neck to the goalkeeper Balog. All picked off easily by Samuel. Here's Umfuni. And now Wright, and now O'Reilly. It's a good tackle to deny O'Reilly. Kept on by Umfuni. Back it goes to Braithwaite and further to Watmuff. Umfuni. Wright. Trying to spread it to Heskey. It was a good idea. His sights, though, were slightly off. This is the goal from Warhurst that has made the game a little bit more comfortable for City. Another tidy finish. A little bit of defending for the Blues as Samuel guides it back to Watmuff, but too much sweat broken. Here's O'Reilly in a pocket of space. And now Makedu, chance for him to have a real old go. Bounces off the challenge, keeps on going Makedu. And he's won another corner. City's eighth of the contest, their second of the second half. Jacob Wright. Back it goes to O'Reilly. O'Reilly couldn't get beyond the challenge of Polakovic. O'Reilly picks himself up. Didn't look like a penalty, to be honest. O'Reilly was hopeful, but I think deep down he probably realised it wasn't going to get uh, 
given. So the first change of the afternoon below us. Substitution for the hosts. Moshi goes off. And on comes Denko. Well, Denko was one of those who was left out of the starting lineup. Double change for the Blues as well. Megan Heskey and Stephen Umfuni are coming off. She and Noble getting some more valuable minutes, which is good to see. And Justin Abowado is the other. seen Kian Noble on any of our coverage in the last year or two you'll know what a very cultured defender he is he's only 17 years old he can play at left back or left center half or even in protective midfield lovely left foot on him making his way back after injury as O'Reilly is stopped in his tracks Marco's ball forward, giving chase is Mateas. Noble in front of him. And is that a corner? It is. So Slovan Bratislava earned their very first corner of the match. And we're in the 68th minute. Well, they've defended corners pretty well. What are they going to be like at attacking corners? We're about to find out. Murar will whip it in towards the goalkeeper. What muff? Yeah, after all that, they've gone short. And they've now got another corner. in corners, sorry, 8-2 in corners. Rar again hovering over the quadrant. And that's easily dealt with by Braithwaite at the near post. Up goes Gray. Samuel Noble up Tom by Simpson Plaza looks as though Noble's gone to right centre half and Simpson Plaza to the left Simpson Funny departed Braithwaite still in the left back spot. The same position that he played for City's first team against Watford last week. Noble tried to guide it forward to Gray. Here's Marco for Slovan Bratislava. Murar, Maros, a yeah, little bit of danger, but Jacob Wright was in a good position. And here comes O'Reilly on the counter for City. And he was impeded. Free kick to the Blues.
inside the last 20 minutes now at the National Training Centre in Senek. And Slovan Bratislava being taught a bit of a lesson here by the Blues. Really excellent control of the game from the very start of it, really. Just the two goals to show, but uh, they have been exceptional today, the Blues. Still time for more. Here's O'Reilly. Braithwaite. Simpson to Zay, Noble. Samuel. Braithwaite. McCadu. Again, taking players on. Again, getting into the box. And this time it took a really good save to deny him. Drifting in beautifully, McCadu. One way, then the other. Eventually stopped by a good save by Balog in the Slovan Bratislava goal. Here's Warhurst. O'Reilly. Braithwaite. Simpson for Zay. Braithwaite again. O'Reilly. Braithwaite once more. Simpson for Zay. Kian Noble. Obawado. Makedu. Wright. Oh, super finish. Jacob Wright. Didn't go for power. He just guided it off his instep. Round the defender in front of him. And well out of the reach of the goalkeeper's despairing dive. Super finish from Jacob Wright. Just look at this. The moment the ball is set in his path, he just passes it, really, into the corner of the net. So delightfully done from Jacob Wright. It's his fifth goal of the season. His second now today. And you have to say... That, that is a lovely finish. And City's lead is now a much more honest reflection of proceedings. Well, they lost 4 0 in their opening game, Slovan Bratislava against Celtic. You would not rule out a similar scoreline here on a very pleasant afternoon in Slovakia. Ball over the top. Justin Abouado is not going to get to it. Thought it might just hold up in the lengthy grass. It didn't do enough for Abouado. I do feel as though City can grab more goals in this game. side of sat deep and absorbed throughout I suspect they will have wilted a whole lot more as they saw Jacob Wright's second goal City's third hit the back of their net here's a Boado took that down nicely and now great almost found a way through Samuel wins it back gray into the path of a Boado had to take it first time, didn't get the power on that he was hoping for. 
and he saw it drift out for a goal kick but again lots to admire double change for the hosts afternoon that has gone from bad to worse for them really Murar bids his farewell so to the captain Marco on comes Canoli and Dornai and Mura make way, Dornai and Canoli come on. Three alterations now for the home side. Jacob Wright. That's his goal, his second one. Lovely finish, wasn't it? Slava nil. They've looked to have the measure of control throughout this match, City. A scoreline which uh, in no way flatters the Blues. Braithwaite, now Wright, simpson Plaza did that neatly, didn't he? Gray's control betrays him on this occasion, and an attempt that's brushed wide, I think, by Watmuff. I think he might have got a little piece of that, the goalkeeper. It was the substitute, Dornai, that hit it goal-bound. Sure, if it didn't brush the fingers of what muff here, anyway, goal kicks given. City going to make some more alterations. McAdoo's gone off. Henderson Hall has come on. And Samuel is making way. Reese Thomas, who's coming on. It is indeed. So 11 minutes between City and their first points of this season's UEFA Youth League. And they've earned them in style this afternoon. of Bobado. Noble. Simpson Plaza. Noble again. It's a good ball. Bobado trying to find Warhurst. Right wins it back. Anderson Hall. Braithwaite. Wright. Hey. 
It's just foul on O'Reilly. That's 10 minutes in Slovakia. Maybe City can start to think about making it an even more handsome margin of victory. Points in the bag. The difference may well play a part in this one big super division of 36 teams. Here's Henderson Hall. Try to find O'Reilly, but they're not quite on each other's wavelength on this occasion. Comes off Braithwaite for a slow band throw. And City are going to make another change. We find Mukasa. Charlie Gray is coming off. Divine Mukasa comes on. Right, just nudged out of it. Muff, and now Simpson Pose. Right. And now O'Reilly. A Boado looking towards O'Reilly. Back to Jacob Wright. Thomas. Simpson Pose. Nico O'Reilly. Right on the edge of the area. He had just been thinking hat trick for a moment there, Jacob Wright. Here's a Boado. And Henderson Hall came in on it. Wasn't an easy header. Pushing header away by Noble. Thomas, the Boado. Where to find Thomas. Thomas wins it back for City. Simpson Pose. Right. It's a good ball. Henderson Hall will get to this. A city throw. Oh, no, it's given the other way. Six minutes to go, and another double change for Slovan Bratislava. Lakovic is coming off. Spishak is coming on. He's not the only one making way because also coming off is held. And Schweck comes on instead.
City throw. Leading by three goals to nil. Completely deserved victory this from City. And by far the better team in all departments. Controlled the game throughout as O'Reilly sweeps it out wide to Henderson Hall. On to Divine Mukasa. Right, Braithwaite, Henderson Hall. Simpson Plaza. Now right. Mukasa. Henderson Hall. City corner again. Inching ever closer to double figures in the corner count. Goes short to Mukasa. Right back to Henderson Hall. Mukasa. Just beyond right, a foul by Braithwaite. Free kick to Slovan Bratislava. by Braithwaite into the gap for Mukasa up towards a Boado just forced away from goal just in a Boado trying to find O'Reilly but uh, Marco was there for Slovan gives it away to Thomas a Boado O'Reilly right and now Simpson Plaza Henderson Hall. It's good again from City. Here's O'Reilly. Patiently building through the thirds again, City. Simpson Plaza. Kean Noble. Nico O'Reilly. Thomas, Noble, O'Reilly. Change the angle of the play. Henderson Hall is there. Braithwaite, Mukasa, Simpson Plaza, Mukasa, Braithwaite, Mukasa. Lovely move. Another attempt on target. Mukasa didn't quite get the purchase on it that he was hoping for. Lovely play from Braithwaite. Just look at that. Just exuding confidence, isn't it? Caden Braithwaite after his first team debut. Mukasa couldn't quite apply the finish. Here's Henderson Hall. And now right. Trying to thread it through to Oboado. Headed away by Noble. Tackle by Wright. Here's O'Reilly. Now Mukasa. Henderson Hall. of how much more we've got to play today. Yeah. 
more than enough time for City to add a fourth goal. Here's Braithwaite. It's out, I think, for a City throw. I think it might have taken a touch on that Braithwaite cross. Assistant says otherwise. Ben Wilkinson, I'm sure, will have nothing but positives for his team today. Ask them to demonstrate a little bit more maturity in their control of the game. Certainly can't be disappointed in that regard. They bossed it from start to finish, City. And they're heading for a very handsome victory. Might get better. Here's Warhurst. Here's O'Reilly. Still O'Reilly. Couldn't get away. City will win it back, will they? No, not quite. Yes, they do now with Thomas. And now Wright. And now Mukasa. And Henderson Hall, real chance, number four. Matty Henderson Hall honours the second half substitute and among the goals. And in all honesty, this scoreline here is a much more honest assessment of what has been a quite dominant display. Henderson Hall creeping in, and with a little help of a deflection on the way, it'll still, of course, be his goal. He makes it 4 0. Two for Jacob Wright, one of them a penalty, one for Matty Warhurst, and now this one for Henderson Hall. And City have three points and four goals. Consolation here, Slovan Bratislava. City's defenders don't deserve anything other than a clean sheet for the way they've bossed things today. Watmuff judged that really well. He pulled his hands away. And that is the end of a very one-sided contest. Terrific display from City. Ben Wilkinson requested that his team show maturity that they control proceedings, and they've done exactly that. A first-half penalty from Jacob Wright. Matty Warhurst making it two. Jacob Wright with a lovely goal for three. And Matty Henderson-Hall right at the end made it four. And City's second match of the UEFA Youth League goes very much in their favour. They're on the board with three points. Slovan Bratislava nil, City four.